Hello again, I am Blunty. If you are new around these here parts, I'm an Australian, if you can't tell from the accent. I'm one of the longest serving YouTubers out there. Seriously, I've been doing this for well over a decade, pretty much non-stop. I am a lifelong gamer. I am an unstoppable dork, which is, which is, which is okay, because... Some chicks dig dogs. That was a weird aside. Anyway, with a little bit of friendly sponsorship action from Asus today, I'll be looking at this, which is the Asus ROG Strix X470F gaming motherboard. What we're going to do is have a look at why you would want to use this as the beating heart of your gaming rig. And there are a few compellingly good reasons. But first, precisely 20 seconds of unnecessarily shallow focus B-roll footage set to generic and copyright safe drum and bass type music because that is what PC hardware tech tubers do, don't they? Usually the ones who have invested in unnecessarily expensive camera gear designed for much higher tasks than YouTube product shots. I mean, look at that shallow depth of field. Makes me look so professional, doesn't it? I am going to team this up, by the way. This, this is a... Uh, AMD series board, AMD socket, I should say. Uh, we're going to team it up with a Ryzen 7 2700X, which I'm looking forward to because that thing is a beast. Also, I'm going to team it with this. <laughs> 2080 Ti. I have actually been using this thing in my personal rig for a few weeks now, sort of giving it a soak-in test, a, a real-life practical soak-in test. I was just using it all, all day, every day in my regular gaming thing, and, and oh my god. I am going to cry tears, rivers of tears, when, when I finally have to send this back to Asus. I don't think they're going to let me hang on to it, uh, but yes, sooner or later it's going to have to go back, and I'm going to try and extend that time as much as possible, because once you... Once you go this, going back to the my, 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 going back to my 1080, it's it's, no, it's never going to feel the same again. Oh, also as far as the cooling goes, I'm going to be using this again, the Rog Ryujin 240. I've actually used this before. I think when I did the i9 stuff, it has a sort of RGB stuff and a little display you can customize to show you current temps or a, a little GIF or whatever you want. But it also has a little fan in there as well, so it actually blows air across the components around the CPU socket, which most, in fact, I don't think any other uh, all-in-one water cooler does. And that's pretty important too, because all those components around the CPU are responsible for supplying power to the CPU and to the RAM and all that kind of stuff. So that little bit of extra airflow, that's, I mean, Asus have some very, very clever people working for them. But I'm starting to understand just truly why their brand is so deeply loved. At the beginning, I thought it was just good branding, you know? Strix, Republic of Gamers, rah! But no, it's their, their, their stuff and things are good. That's why people love them. Let's build. What? You didn't think you were going to get through this without a build montage, did you? It's standard stock and train for videos like this. Editing via paint by numbers, really? <laughs> I'm snarky today. I do have to say though, between this case, the NZXT H500i, and the remarkably sensible and thought out motherboard layout Asus have designed, and I'm not just saying that because it's a sponsored video, it really is super nice to work with. This was one of the easiest builds I've done in living memory. Everything just fell into place so nicely. The onboard motherboard I.O. was especially nice. Everything was so easy to find, laid out with plenty of space for even my baboon-like man paws to deal with easily, and arranged in such a way that made cable management wonderfully easy for that super clean look that I love. But it all came together quite nicely, don't you think? 
Quite frankly, my personal machine is due for a rebuild sometime real soon, and I think I just might go for the white and purple look again, because I dig it. But now, back on track, and the reasons why this Asus board, and indeed its siblings in the family of ROG motherboards, are very compelling choices. And those reasons basically fall into three main sort of categories. One is a couple of eyeball niceties. First is obviously the Aura Sync lighting. That's always nice to have a nice centralized way to control all your lights all at once from one piece of software. That's really nice. The other thing is, and I might have to show you some detail shots on this, but you can kind of see in this shot here, it's got kind of this cyberpunk thing going on here. This, I didn't know if I liked it at first, but then I looked at it and looked at it and it looks like, you know, one of those, those Tokyo signs you see in cyberpunk films and I started to really like it. And there are other touches sort of all over the board and that, and that cyberpunk thing is about to become really cool again. Put it in the uh, chat down below if you know exactly why. There's, there's some little game out there, cyberpunk game that people are kind of excited about. I forget what the name of it is. Maybe you can help me. That's me baiting for comments. The other thing is look at this. IO backplate pre-installed, not even just pre-installed, it's part of the, the thing. It can't fall off, it can't get lost, it's just there. And I don't know why that's not standard either. This is a leading the way with this. There's no reason to have a separate I.O. backplate. It's a standard dimension thing anyway. Just put it on there. That way you can just go into a case and you're done. You don't have to fiddle with the, the backplate thing and snap it in. And those things are sometimes a pain in the bum to snap in and I pinch my finger a couple of times. Just, that's easier. Do that. Everybody do that. Problem solved. That's, that's, that's 10 points for Asus right there. 11 points, 50 points. And of course, there's a few more practical things which really are uh, the most important things when you think about uh, a motherboard and what's suitable and what feature sets it has that's going to make your gaming just a little bit better. They might be kind of subtle, you might sort of never think about them being there, but them being there makes gaming nicer. One of them is that little chip there, that little shiny one. That's part of the audio solution here, which uh, is also tying into their software controller it's called Sonic Studio 3, the third evolution of that, obviously. And having good control of your sound is important in gaming. And if I have to explain to you why that is, then maybe you shouldn't be gaming at all. Maybe you should just give up. Sound is important. Sonic Studio 3 can be used to map different audio streams to different outputs. So for example, you could be playing a game and that game audio can be going to your headphones, but you can use the same PC to output music for the other people in your home or the movie they're watching or something on another screen or whatever it is. You can send that to a completely different set of speakers. But beside that little trick, the basic functionality of Asus's audio software is some of the cleanest I have ever seen. Asus have just nailed it. I've never used any piece of software that makes adjusting all your audio bits and pieces as easily and as intuitive as this. They've also got a system called RAM Cache 2, which is a RAM cache, and we'll talk about that. I'll show you a practical example of what that does. RAM Cache 2 is a software that provides a transparent solution to increase the overall storage performance by utilizing the system memory that is not in use, according to the blurb. What it actually does is kind of acts like a dynamic RAM disk. If you don't know what a RAM disk is, that's using your system's RAM, the very, 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 very fast memory that's way faster than even the fastest SSD out there, to pretend to be a hard drive. What RAM Cache 2 does is kind of do that dynamically. Instead of being a fixed storage thing, a drive that you have this thing installed on or this thing installed off, it dynamically pulls in the data that you're using most, which means the stuff you're doing more often becomes faster and faster. Really nice if you're working with media or editing pictures and videos and things like that. Really nice if you're doing pretty much anything. It can even speed up game loads. And I did a few tests and even against a hybrid hard drive, which already has eight gigabytes of SSD memory on board to try and do the same thing, to keep the, the data you're using most often in the fastest access possible. Even augmenting that SSD storage makes a significant difference in game load times. And then you've got Fan Expert 4, another very 90 sounding thing because it's spelled with an X for expert. X for expert. <laughs> can we can we just grow up with our names please when it comes to this gaming stuff? I know you want us to it sounded edgy and cool and stuff, but can we just grow up a little bit? Well, arose by any other name, anyway. 
it's the fan control system, which is also extremely important in a gaming PC, especially with the powerful ones, because the powerful ones tend to generate heat, and you want to get rid of that heat so things can run efficiently and run safely, and you want to get rid of that heat in a very quiet way, and having really good control over your fans is an important way to do that. And much like Sonic Studio 3, the fan control that Asus have in their BIOS and stuff, it's not something that nobody else does. I mean, everybody has some sort of fan control, but again, the interface and the way it works and just how easy and fast it is to really fine tune this thing to exactly what you want, Asus have just nailed it. But even if you don't know what you're doing when it comes to this stuff, they've got you covered. They've got an automatic optimization feature which just runs for a couple of minutes, tests your fans, figures out how they can run at their most efficient cooling performance and stay the quietest at the same time. It is just a little slice of genius and I love that. So thank you very much again to Asus. Asus? Someone did tell me how to pronounce it once. I did ask an Asus person. I say Asus, but apparently it's most closer to Zeus. Asus. I really should get that right because again, this was a sponsored video. Thanks for watching. I am Blanty. I will catch you next time. Please do the thing with the subscribe button and the bell button and follow on Twitter and come along to the live streams on Twitch and such. Uh, many of which lately have been powered not officially, or sponsored type thing. Like I said, I've been using the 2080 Ti from Asus, the ROG version. It's, it's just a beef. It's just a beef.